Hello, all dudes of the world. My name is Dude Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm reacting to another, not this time, song, but we're reacting to Top 5 Strongest Startup Pokemon by Mystic Umbreon. Let's do it. Every new Let's game see. series Pokemon game, we're introduced with three starter Pokemon. One grass type, fire type, and water type. Okay. These three Pokemon of the specified region help trainers shape their paths for success into becoming Pokemon trainers and then later becoming the champion. Some people like to pick the starter they feel as their favorite, or they can choose the strongest one they feel will get them through the games the most efficiently. Some people will even use these starter Pokemon in the competitive format of Pokemon. Today, I will be counting down the strongest starter Pokemon with how long Game, mainly smoke on not BGC because I'm not really familiar hoi, with that coffee and I think I'll also be taking playthroughs into consideration for how well each starter performs in its specified region. And we'll also be taking how powerful their mega evolutions are for the starters who have them. So that out of the way, let's begin our journey. Oh that's an Umbreon. Which fifth who is fifth position? Water falling into the number five slot, we have for alligator. The cute alligator, oh, for alligator. Starter, personally one of my favorites. I know some people joke about this water starter because of its sprite, dad ass, but hey, if you got it, flaunt it. For alligator is definitely the oh strongest out of all the Jitter starters for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I thought Toad Owl's line just does better with a more powerful matchup against the I don't know what the freak is for alligator is, but I played the game called Dilo RPG and that's why I know a little bit about it. So that's why. Main gym leaders and elite four members of Johto for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. For competitive, for Alligator is currently now in the RU tier and wrecks teams left and right. For Alligator gets access to moves like Dragon Dance, which boosts its speed and attack by one stage. And this, with the ability Sheer Force, can just shred with Waterfall, Ice Punch, Earthquake, you name it, for Alligator shreds it. This Pokemon is super good for its placement, and I can't even imagine how useful it Best for the Infernape takes the place of the number 4 this slot is list. Despite Infernape not having a Mega Evolution, it's still a very good Pokemon and is super viable being able to attack on the physical and special side. It has a base Fire set Blast, of Blast coming right. Earthquake. For its journey through Sinnoh because of its viability, it does well against the majority of the gym leaders through Sinnoh and the Elite Four portion of the game. It performs better than Napoleon and Torterra by far on the competitive side and in game. He ran with the Choice Scarf, Life Orb, Expert Bell, yeah, so pretty are. much anything is viable with Infernape. It can also get access to the Elemental Punches, Grass, and a bunch of other cool moves. Infernape is super powerful, and it's I want to see it get stronger with the Mega Evolution. Does it need it? No, but it was really like cool Goku cool being so angry is going to burn the world. What's third position? The best starter for Kanto, Fire Red and Leaf Green, had to make an appearance on this list. And I'm glad it did because it is also one of my favorites. It's Venusaurus. Venusaur aids the players super well on their Kanto journey through Fire Red and Now we all know that, that Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Star, Star, Squirtle, these, uh, everybody know, at least Pikachu everybody know. If, if you're a non-Pokemon fan also, then also you will know Pikachu and many people. Pikachu is so popular. Like these, this group Green, it deals with threats like Brock, Misty, and Giovanni's ground types. Kalos also makes it very viable due to it getting a mega evolution with a thick fat ability, having the damage it takes from fire types and ice types. The Venusaur line does well against Grant, Valerie, and a handful of other threats throughout the Kalos region. With this ability, it's also placed very high in the smoke gun format of battling. Its stats are overall very balanced and only really has problems with psychic Pokemon such as Alakazam. Venusaur's move pool is also pretty interesting, being able to run moves like Sword Stance so it could be a physical tank or the standard support tank Pokemon with Leech Seed, annoying the heck out of your opponent. Mega Evolution was what Venusaur needed and it worked greatly for it. This is the second Mr. Embryon. Oh, oh, oh. Greninja is by far the best Kalos mm -hmm. starter in my opinion. Greninja. When it comes to looks and game viability, Greninja has always been it's super like a frog or toad. Shot, it was all over, and it destroyed the meta, and it got moved to the Weaver's I think I should have a Greninja. Greninja. Both Greninja yep. stay at the OU tier, and both forms are still pretty solid to use. Abilities of Protein and Battle Bond. In Game 2, Greninja shreds both sides of Special and Physical. The anime did a great job with Ash Greninja as well. That battle with the lawn was incredible. I'm sure Greninja is doing its job pretty well right now in Kalos. 
place here. I think it's gonna be Charmander. Yo, Pikachu. I think everyone was kind of expecting this one to be number one. The speed boosting king, Blaziken. Blaziken what? Up the speed I was not doing this. Fire. I know Blaziken from number three. Way up to the Deoxy or Tori Kishore. They with the Mega Evolution. They get even more powerful, all because of its ability, speed boost. Before then, in Generation Three, Blaziken was not all that great of a Pokemon. I mean, it was. Kill with the speed Mega boost. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Protect fire. and speed boost. Protect and speed boost. Just rinse and repeat. It's pretty simple. The Mega Evolution and Hidden Ability officially broke Blaziken though, and that's why it's number one on this list. So that was it. Thank you for watching this. Leave a like and subscribe for more and subscribe to Mr. Q. See you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.